Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about an item that I sold, or I should say items. Uh, a lot of times you can pick this unexpected Bolo up really cheap at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, pretty much anywhere. And people walk past it all the time. Three, two, one. And I got a ton of it. I have a whole tote in my money pile that I still need to sort. And we'll talk about that, um, how I decided to sell mine. Now you can so sell this so many different ways, but um, the way I did it, I felt like it was pretty simple given how mine was separated. And we're going to get into that more as well. All right, so let's talk about my big money bolo. And you let me know if you knew about it or if it was totally unexpected. Before I do that, I wanna let you guys know I will be on Whatnot tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll be digging into that 18 gallon tote that I've been working on. I've already had two shows and I just keep digging and it's like, it's not getting any emptier. <laughs> You guys, the 18 gallon tote, <laughs> it's still more than half full. It's still more than half full. So, oh my goodness, look at all this. I have no idea what's in the bags. We're gonna go through more of this tonight on Whatnot. I hope to see you. I have definitely found some vintage treasures in here. Lots of modern um, to vintage items. Oh my goodness, what is this? So it is full, full, full more than half full, and we're gonna dig into it tonight. Thank you so much to everybody that has come to the shows. If you wanna join the Whatnot show um, and you're not already on Whatnot, all you need to do is go down into the description, click on my link, and you're gonna get $15 to shop. You can spend that with me or anyone. So uh, grab that link and join Whatnot. It's my referral link. So uh, yeah, I'd love to see you over at the show. Don't feel any pressure to buy anything. Just come hang out. It's kind of like a mystery unboxing. I'm going to grab a bag and I'm going to pull it out and we're going to look at it together because I don't know what's in the tote. All right. Super fun. Now let's talk about this bolo. All right. Screen share up. What did I sell? I sold embroidery floss and I sold this for $78.12. The buyer was all in for $81.40 with discounts, shipping, and um, tax. So what did they buy? They bought embroidery floss and they bought a bunch of different sets, I think seven total. And when they added them to their cart, they got discounted shipping and they also got a discount for purchasing multiple items. So buy one, get one 25% off coupon promotion and $5 shipping when you buy two or more. So they bought the Christmas green. There was 12 of them in here and it's skeins. That's what they're called. S-K-E-I-N-S. -E I think I'm pronouncing that right. This was another color of green. There were 11 in that one. Here is another green. There were 12 in that one. So they all have numbers and a color. So uh, check that out and put that in your title. The next one was blue. There were 12. Red, and there were 12 of those. Another blue, 11 of those. And the last one here, I believe, yes. Uh, there were 12, and it was another shade of blue. So they bought a whole bunch of different colors. But all together, oh my goodness, big money bolo, right? Now, I got so many of the same color, like this red floss 321. I have 18 sets of 12. So I just did a multi-quantity listing. I have four more available here. You can see I've got two available here. It really just depends on what the color is, how many I have. I have 14 of these. And again, so many more to list. So this is how I decided to do it. I have been pretty successful that, with this. You can also list these individually. So I could have done like this first one here, Christmas green color 699. I could have done 12 times 14, whatever that equals, and just did one skein each per, you know, and did a multi quantity and then people could have bought as many as they wanted. That is another option. This is how I decided to do it. So far, it's working for me. Let me know in the comments if you've ever sold embroidery floss and how did you sell it? Now let's look at how some other people sold it for big money. The first one here is we see these all the time. A lot of times they come in those little plastic containers. Definitely look them up. 
uh, different brands. Definitely the vintage colors that are discontinued can go for more. But these are interesting. These are an interesting shape. And never seen anything like it with a little heart on the bottom, it almost looks like. But this sold for $75 plus shipping. Here are needlepoint thread. And I got some of these from that same sale. And I think I undersold them. I did not do good research. And I think I, yeah, I think I sold them too cheap. But I did make money. I had very low cost of goods and I'm happy with the sale, but always, always do your research. Look up individual colors. Some colors go for more. I did not have near as many as this person. This person probably could have made a lot more money parting these out. I don't know for sure. I obviously haven't researched this, but what I do want to tell you is definitely research your items. This sold for $87 and the buyer paid shipping. Here's another style. These are kind of... Um, they're definitely different. See how they're like kind of twisted? Definitely vintage, $91 for 59 skeins, new old stock. Here is a DMC embroidery thread floss three drawer display. Now, I did see a bunch of these that had sold. They did range in prices anywhere from 50 to over $100. So if you see one of these, definitely look it up. Uh, could be a big money bolo. This one sold for 99 plus shipping. And right there, oh, it looks like they took an offer of 75. Now this says lot of 400. There's definitely not 400 here. So I guess they're just showing an example of what you could get. They did get awesome feedback. It was $100 and the buyer paid shipping. And here is their feedback. So it was a good sale. I just feel like maybe they could have included everything in the original photo so you knew exactly what you were getting. But that's just my thought. Obviously, this seller was, or this buyer was super, super happy. Here's another one. This one only went for $41. So they do range and vary in size and how many drawers and how many compartments. So that will make a difference. But I did notice they were all marked DMC on the top. This is in the original packaging, and here you have it, still sealed. This sold for, I had to go over to Terapeak, $90 best offer, and they got positive feedback right here. This next one is Hungarian cotton embroidery thread, six pearl beautiful colors. Again, I just want to show you that it can come in different shapes and sizes. And many of them can be a bolo. So if you see these things out in the wild, definitely look them up. $149.99 plus shipping. Here is a lot of 200 vintage specialty threads, fibers for needlepoint and cross stitch. Look how fancy these are. Fuzzy. You got fuzzy. You got very velvet. You got flare and de razzle dazzle. So these are fancier. $180 free shipping on those with positive feedback. All right, so let me know down in the comments, did you know about this bolo? Will you be looking for it? Definitely looking for it, yes. Um, the way I did it takes some time. Throwing it all together in a big bundle is probably, you know, going to save you the most time, but you may not make the most money. I like to part things out. I like to try different things. And what do you guys think? What would you do if you got a bunch of embroidery floss? Plus, what was special about mine is I have big bags of the same color. So that made it easier for me to just count out 12, put them in bags. And then again, some of them I had 20 of the same color, 12 each. That's a lot. And that's an easy multi-quantity listing for me. Somebody feels like they're getting 12 instead of just one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a not... I don't know a knot. I don't know a lot about crafting and doing stuff like that. So I would love your feedback down in the comments. But this is definitely a bolo. Now, it does range from bread and butter to big money. Discontinued colors are going to go for more than something that is current. So you're going to have to do your research. But if you can pick it up cheap, there is a market for it for sure. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. If you learned something new, hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you at my uh, whatnot show tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go down there and get that $15 to shop by using my referral link. Thanks for watching.